In this video, we'll cover how to send an HTTP request and inspect the response. Let's get right into it by setting a basic GET request. To do so, I'm going to click this blue Send button, and I want you to watch this bottom pane here, which is where our response information is going to go. So I click Send, and we can see it's sending request. And then once I get the response from the server, all this information comes down here. So the first thing we're seeing is the response body in a pretty view. But before we go into diving into all of this, let's go ahead and look at some other key bits of information. So in this section up here, we see the first thing here is our status code. In this case, we had a successful GET request, so we got a status of 200. And Postman will always give you a bit of information about what the status code could mean. We have the time it took to send the request and get the response. And then we also have information on the response size. So we can see how big the response body was, and we can see how big the response headers were. Cool. Now let's go ahead and look. So now we're looking at the response body, and let's go ahead and look at these various tabs here. So this is the formatted version of the response, but what actually comes back from the server is gonna be under this raw tab here. So if I click this, we see this big string of texts, and it's a little bit hard to make sense of as a human, but what's really nice is that Postman takes care of formatting this for us. In this case, it's formatted in JSON, and you'll notice that it has uh, syntax highlighting. There are other important things to note in here. If there are any links that are relative to the API, um, they'll be clickable, and I can go ahead and click this and have a new request pop up. I also have the ability to search this. So if I wanted to search for Shady Pines, which I know should appear in here, you can see that I can do that. Uh, I can customize it to match case. I can use a regex, et cetera. I'll close this. Uh, you're also able to copy the entire response body, which is pretty handy. And yeah, so this is the response body and it's formatted in a way that we can make sense of. Other things to look at, so this is, like I said, for the body. If I wanted to look at cookies, if there was cookies information, it would be under this tab, which is not gonna be here. Um, and then headers. So these are the response headers, and you can see that one important thing here is the content type returned this application slash JSON. Um, and that's pretty helpful because that tells us, you know, in Postman, it knows that the body should be able to be formatted as JSON, and it takes care of handling that and formatting it here. So now that you have your API call working the way you expect it to, check out our next video to learn how to save the request to a collection.